For presentation, we will set up our scene using our USD baked asset and our look dev where we have our materials, material assignments. And here we are setting up our limits for diffuse and reflection and turning on caustics on groom. The next thing here that we will do, we will set up first a turntable for our exterior render. Here we are setting up a time where we are freezing our character. Here we will have a full character character animation around 170 frames what we will do here we will pick up one of the frames that we like that would be 104 you can uh, offset those frames if you want to some other frame he is frozen in that time we are doing a little bit of transformation here because of the turntable we are setting our camera to be red and 200 millimeter lens and f stop to four and we are also setting up our four focus distance here. In our turntable we would offset the character from 35. We will make our character rotate and we will also rotate the light around the character and every of those would be 25 frames. So if I start at the beginning we will have first rotation of the character and then the rotation of environment around the character. That would be 4k exterior. We will pick up these uh, five HDRs. Some of them are sunny, overcast and and also we are setting up as you saw previously here the spheres so if I look through that this we will only see the ref spheres and color chart if I render that that would be representing our environment and if I move here to any other that will change here we are setting up our render we are pruning these ref spheres and we are setting up the resolution uh, to be uh, HD and and because of our camera has our back plate or sensor 40.96 21.6 as this camera red camera has the ratio of resolution is not full HD so it's a little bit less that's calculated here automatically we are setting up XPU render maximum 1024 rays uh, limits Russian roulette here is only changed to 4 default is 3 enabling depth of field Field, setting up here for geometry 0 0.001 uh, ray bias and outputs we are setting outputs uh, diffuse specular and subsurface to be able to evaluate our uh, diffuse component and specular individually and also subsurface as a transmission on our hair and we are not filtering and denoising this pass and here we are setting up a metadata on our EXRs so we know what camera was used that would be these three options here and on this side we are setting up a preview render preview render is same as the final render except that the resolution is half of hd the maximum uh, is 50 rays and for filtering we are using intel denoising so if i render that frame we could get a decent preview render for 20 seconds and use that as evaluation of our setup before we send it for longer renders full HD and full quality. Let's send this for rendering and see what we get. So here is our asset still character with a turntable with exterior with a preview render and we can uh, go and we can see that there is a lot of blur on details here from denoiser and that is expected because we are rendering small amount of rays these renders are 20 seconds per frame on this gpu and we can go and look all of them and evaluate if all the lights are in order depth of field position composition so far everything looks fine to me we can see here lots of transmission through the hair. So the next setup would be the same as exterior. It's just in interior where we are setting up here interior and we are picking up here a different set. Also five of them. Let's render the preview. Here is a preview. Let's check how that looks before we send this uh, to higher resolution and higher quality. It looks all looks good, just different different environment 
as it was exterior. So from here, we will render the animation, but we don't want this from his modeling pose. So somewhere around here, 44, 45, we will start rendering from 45 until 170 something where the animation stops. So what we will do here, we will start with the time shift where we will take the current frame and add 44. So when we go like that, it starts from frame one and then we will just render until the frame 125 and we will stop there we will set up uh, our camera for this so if you look through the camera and through our turntable setup we will pick up one light so in this case we are only picking up the second light for animation exterior and we will start our character from minus 153 that's that position because because when we come to rotation we want him to stand there when he is looking through the camera rotating and then he will start animation and that can go into the loop after 125 so that's the difference everything else is the same we have a spheres that supports that environment we have a final render and we have a preview render let's see how this preview render looks so here we have render done in a couple of minutes so he is walking stopping rotating continue walking and this can go in a loop so here we have a static environment we are not rotating environment so if we look here our setup what we did we turned off environment rotation we set it up asset rotation and we set it up to be 125 frames so he will rotate the whole length of our animation and then as you saw it will go into the loop. Here we are setting up exterior 2. It's the same as the previous one except that our character is not rotating but our environment is rotating around him and he is doing his animation walking stopping and then continue walking and we are also rendering exterior HDR one of the HDRs from our list it's the third one and the length of the rotation of the environment is the same as our animation from 1001 it goes to 1125 let's render the preview and see how that looks here is our preview So the next thing what we will do, we will render still images with different poses and different cameras and different lights. So what we will have here, we will have every frame a different pose that we like for that frame. Some of them are repeating and stay the same. So the next thing is a camera where we will change different lenses and different f-stops and we will also adjust for every of those focus distance. So if we look through the camera, we will have here start rotation of the character. So if we look down through the camera, we will see uh, different poses and different cameras, changing lenses and different HDRs. 25 frames everything else on the bottom here is the same we have a spheres we have final render and we have a preview render let's see how the preview render looks so here is a preview everything looks fine here every hdr is four frames and we change four cameras and keep one hdr and then it changes to another so this is also exterior we have here six hdrs and we have every of those four frames let's now render the final renders and see how that looks so this is our template that will be provided to you in a project